Hi, everybody. So in this lesson, we were learning about balance and more specifically, symmetrical balance. So on this web page, you're going to be able to do the same thing as the other project of creating an insect, um, but you're going to be able to do it right on your Chromebook. So over here, you have different options of how you would like to reflect your symmetry. I have it set up for the Y axis, which is this line going down. If you want to reflect it going this way, you would click the X axis and see how that switches your line down here. I'm going to go back to the Y axis because I like that format better. And here's where you're going to click on what kind of line you would like to use. This line is a free drawing line and see how it reflects on both sides. This line is a dotted line. This is a shape, so I'll create you a circle. This button right here, it's another shape for you to work with. Here's a straight line. So make a perfectly straight line for you, whatever angle that you make it. And this will fill in your shapes. So if I want this circle to be gold, I click on here and I click on gold and then I click in here and it'll turn that area gold. You can also use it to turn the background a certain color. So say I want it this coral color. Maybe it'll change the whole background. But notice how when you fill the color in, it does not fill it in on this side. Okay? So that is something you'll have to do separately. So if I wanted both sides to be this coral color, I would have to click on this side as well. If there's something that you did not like that you just did, you can click this undo button, and it'll undo the last step. If you want to completely clear everything and start from the beginning, you're going to click clear. That'll clear your whole canvas for you. So I'm going to go back to my line and I'm going to make sure I'm on, I click black. If you want to change the thickness of your line, you can click one of these buttons and it'll change the thickness for you. If you want a really skinny line, a thicker line, even thicker, goes all the way up to 40. You can see that is a very thick line. So I'm going to clear everything off. I'm going to make sure that I have that freestyle uh, selected. And then I'm going to select my thickness of three and make sure I'm on black. Now I'm going to draw my bug. So I'm going to draw the head. Remember, you're always stopping at the center line because it's going to reflect and make your symmetry for you. I'm gonna make another section of my bug. And I'm gonna leave it just there. Maybe I wanna add some legs. I'm gonna make them thicker. If you want perfectly straight lines, this would be a good opportunity for you to use this straight line tool because it'll make your lines perfectly straight for you. Um, if you wanted to add wings, you can add wings. Um, maybe I want some spots on mine, so I'm going to grab this circle. And when you click and you drag, that'll depend how big that you're making your circles. Okay, I'm going to give my bug some straight antennas and two eyes on top of his head. All right, there's my bug. Now I got to fill it in and color it. So that's when I'm going to select this option again. 
and I'm going to click navy. I'm going to fill this whole background in. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Here we go. And all my circles, maybe I want lime green ones. Remember, you got to do it on the other side also. And purple. Notice how I'm balancing on both sides. And I'm going to do one suit. Colors head in orange. And give him silver eyes. There we go. Maybe silver legs too. You can also change the lines of it. I did that on accident, but if you didn't want black lines, you can change them to be a different color. All right, I'm gonna go back to silver. Put that in. All right, so I have my bug, my insect. I have three legs on one side, three on the other, and I colored everything in to be the same on each side. Okay, so in order for you to save this, you can either take a screenshot of this whole entire screen if you know how to with your Chromebook. If you do not know how to take a screenshot, you can also click save. It will bring you to a different window. So once you click save, this will switch you to a different window and you'll be able to right click and then click save image as, but in the new window. So this is the new window. It looks really large, but here you're able to right click and you'll get to click save image as. And that will allow you to save it into wherever you can save it on your computer. If you save it on your desktop and it'll be right there on your desktop. If you save it in a folder, you just have to know where you're saving it. And you'll, you're able to see where you're saving it up here. Here I have in documents and then in lessons. And that's where it's gonna end up being saved. And then you can always upload it to the Google form and click submit to send it to me, okay? I cannot wait to see all of your art projects. I cannot wait for you all to complete them. Hope you have a wonderful day.